Now we're going to talk about how you can bring high availability to your Docker data center deployment. High availability is about replicating information across multiple instances of your software to ensure that if one instance goes down, the software continues to run. Today we're going to talk about three different areas of Docker data center based HA. Universal control plane for managing and orchestrating applications on your cluster. Docker Trusted Registry for secure image registry and collaboration. And finally, high availability for your applications and containers. First, we're going to talk about high availability for your universal control plane deployment. As a refresher, UCP host consists of two different types. There's controller hosts, and then there's node hosts. Controller hosts are what manage the actual UCP deployment, whereas nodes are where you schedule your applications. We're going to focus on the controllers for HA. A UCP controller consists of several different containers. The first is the UCP, uh, the UCP container, and this is what manages all incoming and outgoing requests to the UCP cluster. There's a set of containers that actually manage the various commands for Swarm, the cluster manager itself. There's a series of containers that manage authentication, such as the API and the database. This, this allows you to figure out what users and teams you have and what levels of access control that they have. The CAs provide proxies for the certificate authorities, which allows you to determine security within your deployment. And finally, the key value store is what actually replicates all of this information uh, across multiple USB controllers. This is what allows you to actually have HA. So with UCP, you can have three, five, or seven UCP controllers as a part of your cluster. The number of controllers you have determines the number of failures you can tolerate if one of those controllers goes down in the cluster. So if you have three controllers, you can tolerate one failure. If you have five controllers, you can tolerate two failures. And if you have seven controllers, you can tolerate three failures. The trade-off, of course, is the number of nodes that you're willing to use for your controllers in your deployment, also the performance of the deployment. So since the key, the key value store is replicating information across all these controllers, if you have more controllers, then there's more information to replicate, which may bring down some of the performance of the cluster. So these are the trade-offs that you have to make in order to ensure high availability. Now we're going to talk about high availability for your Docker Trusted Registry deployment. A single instance of Docker Trusted Registry is known as a replica. Each DTR replica consists of a series of containers. The first is an Nginx container, which is used for load balancing requests across the various components of, of a DTR instance. The second is the API front-end container, and this is what provides actual API and CLI and UI access for both users and admins. And finally, there's the registry container, and this provides the actual registry functions based off of the open source product. For the purposes of replication, there's a key value store, somewhat similar to the key value store in UCP, and there's a database. The key value store stores the configuration for DTR, whereas the database stores the repository and image metadata, things such as image tags or repo tags, for example. DTR replicas can be, as you might expect, replicated across a series of different nodes, similar to UCP in 3, 5, or 7. So in the same thing, if you have three, uh, three DTR replicas, you can tolerate one failure. Five replicas, you can tolerate two failures. Seven replicas, you can tolerate three failures. It's important to note that DTRHA requires UCP to be installed first. This is because DTR uses UCP for orchestration and scheduling of the various components, as well as setting up the overlay networks that allows the key value store and databases to talk to each other across the replicas. So make sure that when you're installing DTR, have UCP installed first and then install DTR in a production installation. Second, depending on the number of nodes you want to run and, and what you want to run, will allow you to decide whether you want to run UCP and DTR on the same nodes. So if you're running DTR for the purposes of image repository management, as well as UCP for scheduling applications, it's highly recommended that you run UCP and DTR on separate nodes to ensure that a failure in DTR doesn't affect, doesn't affect UCP and vice versa. However, if you're just running UCP for the purposes of setting up DTR, then it's okay to run DTR and UCP on the same nodes. 
The final thing we're going to talk about today is application HA. How do you ensure that your application stays in live in case of a failure on one of the nodes? This can be accomplished through the use of Swarm's container rescheduling feature. So let's say you have a simple deployment consisting of a UCP controller and three nodes. When you run a container that's scheduled against one of these nodes, you can add a label or an environment variable that allows you to enable the on node failure container rescheduling policy. This ensures that if this node fails for whatever reason, Swarm will automatically reschedule the container onto one of the other nodes, thus ensuring that your application stays alive. Now, if you have volumes that are connected to these nodes, say for the purposes of storing data, you may want to use a storage backend that is visible across all of your nodes in your deployment, along with a volume driver that supports such an arrangement. This will ensure that all of your stateful data is able to transfer with the container as well. Through this process with container rescheduling, you're able to ensure that your application enjoys high availability across your production DDC deployment. So just to review, today we talked about how you can provide high availability in your Docker data center deployment for universal control plane, Docker trusted registry, and applications through Swarm container rescheduling. If you want to learn more, check out the links in the video or in the descriptions.